final match of this evening and it is a straight shootout for the Vortex. We are here in the lower bracket final between Visu Gaming and Dutchies Esports. Dutchies Esports are coming off a 3-2 win over Blizzard Wizards who did very well to get all the way to the fourth round of the lower bracket as a Division 1 team last season. They will take on Visu Gaming, who beat Desenso squad also 3-2 in their lower bracket fourth round fixture. So both of these teams are coming off pretty long matchups, but they're going to have to dust themselves off because they are now three games away from the Vortex, and that is a very enticing prospect. I am joined once again for this final fixture by Broken. Yeah, hello, guys. It's uh, now the third game we are casting, and... Um... It's peak excitement for me at least because uh, we have Dutchies who are clutching a complete um, lower bracket run. Like, they lost their first game in the upper bracket and since then they went undefeated throughout the whole lower bracket and they will try to get the cherry on top of the cake with that series against Visu Gaming who were really close already, however lost to Imagine playing threes in the upper bracket finals, so... They are trying to redeem themselves that they are capable of playing for the highest league. Remember, the winner of that game will qualify for the Vortex, so it's going to be a tough one. We saw Vetrano's Esports take a 3-1 loss to Dutchies Esports a couple of matches ago, and that was a good performance for Dutchies Esports, and they were good value for that series victory to move on. They've since negotiated their way through another round to get to this final, so we know a little bit about the Dutchies Esports players, and I believe VC Gaming were also on this stream in the second fixture. So what is your prediction for who's going to qualify from the Vortex from this matchup? I believe that uh, we need a full lower bracket run and uh, Dutchies just clutched uh, five games in a row and they have the maximum of momentum going into that series so I believe it will be a close one, it will be a game five again, uh, but Dutchies are going to clutch it. Well I think you make a very valid point, we're here at the the very beginning of an ECC9 season that is going to be sure to create much turmoil a bunch of really exciting matches and real storylines across the season and I think this Dutchies Esports lower bracket run is one of the first that we will see if they can polish it off and win their fifth match in a row down in this lower bracket. It will be the talk of the Vortex for the rest of the season. People will remember this if Dutchies Esports take this series but they are still a series away and it could all come crashing down for them if Visu Gaming can produce an excellent performance of their own. We are underway in this Vortex lower bracket final. Yeah, plus Rex already taking his time, making sure to get it past the first defender. Renshiro already getting aggressive with the demo and Tenoxiku. Temporary up in the midfield faster than his opponents, giving his teammates time to come through as plus Rex goes for the average shot. Really difficult angle. Not a big threat for the Visu right there. Now Visu will take control of it from their own end. It's Extrema, but gives the ball away to Noxipu and Dutchies Esports have the ball pretty far down the pitch and Flizrex went up for that one. Tampuri is the last defender back, however. There was a real commit forwards for Dutchies Esports and the shot was put wide by Alicanda and Visu Gaiman have had the first couple of opportunities in this one. Now here comes another one from distance. The shot is saved by Noxipu and they'll get another touch further forwards as we have a scoreless first minute of this game. And I don't think that's too surprising given the high stakes of this series. Yeah, I can imagine both teams being quite nervous going into that series. So scoring the first goal might be a huge uh, relief for them, having a goal to rely on, especially in the first game of the series. And Oxypu taking it into his corner. Although he needs some boost, wasn't able to get it past Rinshiro. However, Temper is there to back him off by Extremer. Pinching it with Ender and Extremer is there to redirect it himself. They're looking for an infield pass and there's Ender, however, saved by Tempuri. And Ender going for a clutch play as well, again, so... We've seen some uh, good attempts from both teams so far. Noxie Poo into midfield by Tampuri. Got a touch on this to send it further forwards. Alicanter is up for this one. That's a bit of an awkward defensive play. Noxie Poo is going to try and capitalize on that. Extrema will now take it from the back right. Flus Rex gets themselves into the play. Enough of a touch to send it free for Tampuri, who's one on one. But the save is made by Renshiro. Over to the wing as we are two minutes into this game and it remains scoreless. Visu looking for a counter attack now. 
off the back ball it went. Blizzrex made the clear, Alicander to try and send it back into the mixer, but Visu will have to rotate back and steady themselves to try and start another attack. The Dutchies esports players were double committed in the back left corner there. That might cost them. Noxipu got across to make their third save of this one. 316 points for them. They've kept the scores at 0 0. Looks like the game finished, and it's still not sure which team will come through to score the first goal. Noxipu had a good shot at that right now, but uh, just went a bit too far. And also, Tempuri before, if he just had some more patience on that 1v1 situation to get it past the defender, it would have been a very massive goal for them. Now, and you're getting a demo and Rashu gets a shot, however, it was a bit too high. The goal was empty because Extremer uh, also got a demo there, so we have uh, seen a lot of demos coming through. The physical play was on point and it might have provided them this goal right here. Yeah, there was a few shots coming in in quick succession there for Visu Gaming, and they're out, out shooting Dutchy 6 to 1 over this match, and eventually the pressure did pay off. So, Visu Gaming two minutes away from going 1 0 up in the series, but I don't think Dutchy's esports will go down without a fight as they take hold of this from the kickoff. It's Noxie Poo over the top of one. They've still got Extrema to get past in the corner, and the ball came straight to the player in orange. So, it'll be Visu Gaming to carry it over the top. Extrema looking to create a shot all by themselves. Now Noxipu, Renshiro in there to try and mess the defender around. Extreme to keep it going. Drops it down to Renshiro. Hits the backboard. This one will be cleared away by Noxipu with 90 seconds to go. Yeah, and that miss uh, will bite himself. Uh, there was a chance to um, get the two goal lead going, but um, on the other hand, we have Dutchies who are still capable of pulling some good defense and hope for a counter play. However, Renshiro had their shots to. Uh, once again to create a two goal lead. Now a double commit from Extremer and Alicander. Plus Rex. Huge clear for him. But the pressure is still rising for Visa Gaming even though they have the lead and could just fall back a little. Well, we have one minute to go in this opener, and it is a slender 1 0 lead that Visu Gaming are enjoying at the moment. And Dutchies Esports, since they went behind and failed to register a shot on goal, just the one in the entirety of this game, and that is not going to cut it if they want to qualify for the Vortex. Luckily for them, their defending has been strong, and they've given themselves an opportunity to get back into this in the final seconds. This one will be cleared out. Extrema gets a touch on it, but Flizrex puts it back in. Extrema does very well there to get it over to the opposite side of the pitch, slowing down Dutchies Esports on their attempts to create stuff. Flizrex now. Couldn't get the boost in their back left corner. That's going to slow them down. Renshiro takes a hold of it. Visu going in control in possession as the clock runs down. Alicander to shoot. Extrema will follow up with another shot. The pressure is beginning to tell, but Noxipu gets a demo on Renshiro. That'll open up the play. It's taken on the right wing by Tampuri. Off the side wall it goes. Noxipu is up for this one. From the right wing, it will drop down to Renshiro, who makes the clear into midfield. Plus Rex sends it back, looking for Noxipu. Off the backboard it goes. Tampuri gets to it, but can't get the shot on target. Alicander is going to get that all the way clear and win game one for Visu Gaming. And man, oh man. There was an attempt like in the very last seconds of this game, um, Dutchies Esport showing that they are capable of um, being competitive in this series. Just a uh, one goal loss um, will keep them uh, motivated, hopefully, and um, just take the positives from this game. However, Visa Gaming, who can rely on their out shooting, uh, 81 shots, and well, this might make this win pretty much deserved. Well, you said take the positives. So let's have a look at the positives. Good defending, good rotation. The negatives, not enough shots on target at all. Only one for the team, but I think that's something that they can work on. As long as you've got the building blocks in place for a strong performance, and that usually starts with the defending so that you can then work your way forwards and get more creative when you're in the offensive third. For Dutchies Esports, it's all about looking to link up on those passing plays and Put Visu Gaming a little bit more off guard defensively. There wasn't too many saves that they had to make in that game, or even dangerous clears, arguably until the final 30 seconds. But here they go, and how about that? Just six seconds into game two, Dutchies Esports have their goal. You said it, Tempuri. Being clever, just beating his opponent so that Flashbacks get a clean shot. And it went off a kickoff, so some haters might say it's lucky, but. Um... We all know that kickoffs are a big strategy in this game, and uh, maybe Dutchies just uh, went for that and it immediately worked. 
And they'll look to expand upon their lead here, but they need to be careful that they don't concede on the counter-attack as Tampuri makes this save. Blizzrex will have to get out for that one as Renshiro had a brief flash of a sight of goal. Tampuri now from the back corner and they'll take a hold of it, but scuff the extra touch. They got the demo through on Renshiro and then taken out of the game for their troubles as well. The ball is free in midfield for Alexander. Noxipu clears and Dutchy Esports will go the other way. Skips past one player. Gets this one up into the air. Extreme will have to get up for this one and clears it out to the wing. Alicander sends it over the halfway line. And for now, this 1-0 lead for Dutchies Esports remains intact. And I'm looking at Tempiri right now, creating chances, uh, being that ground player and getting those 50s in the midfield to provide his team with some juicy passes. So once again, Tempiri getting the block. However, this one's a bit more awkward as Flosmix has to be fast enough to get that save. Now trying to get some sort of counter attack going, but it's uh, Wiesel right now on the gas pedal, trying to tie this game up. Extremer going for a double tap, no, not really letting it. His teammate and Flusrex on the goal line getting that save. Devastating to not score these, or actually really motivating to save these kinds of shots. Well, Dutchies Esports still one nil up, and the closer they get to the end of the game, I think the more the confidence is going to build. But as long as they're only one nil up, Visu Game will very much fancy their chances to potentially go two nil up in this series. Renshiro takes a hold of it. It's a two on two headed the other way. Noxipu drops it downwards, and Renshiro will shoot from range. Tampuri over to the corner. Alakanda putting some pressure on them, but Tampuri gets it away to the halfway line. Lucerex wins the 50 to get it all the way into the offensive third and it will be Renshiro's responsibility to clear. Gets demoed on the way and Noxipu puts it back down into the danger area. And this one will go all the way clear for Tampuri who took a while to take hold of that one but does now receive the ball and Dutchies Esports will clear. Yeah, back at pro, especially in that game, uh, teams are getting more speedy. Uh, trying to create more chances uh, by physical play. We've seen another bump right there too, so Alexander almost was able to put that uh, freely to the goal. Now it's Alexander again, passing to Rashiro. The ball bounces pretty good for Flasrex, who takes his time, gets it past the first defender, but Extremers there. Getting it past the first offensive line, but Tampiri was uh, very well aware of that. Now the missing the chance for Alexander, 1v1 situation, Flasrex clutch. Has to read that perfectly. Extrema. Noxipu gets up there to make the clear. Tampuri needs to put themselves into the play and does so. Alakan puts it over to the opposite wing and that clear is a weak one from Flusrex. That will give VC Game the chance to centre it as they have once again dominated the shots in this game. It is 8 to 1 at the moment, but the Dutchies Esports had the one that counted just seven seconds into this game from the opening kickoff. Right, but this it. one from Renshiro is heading in as there was just one defender back and they flung themselves into the blade to try and make the interception, but it wasn't enough and VC Game and equalise. Yeah, and eight shots was the limit as the ninth one goes in. A bit wanky defense uh, there from Dutchies, and we had uh, seen them being uh, really solid in defense, but uh, for, uh, for this time it didn't work out for them, so it's all open for this game, and Dutchies looking to tie the series up if they win this game. Extrema. Noxipu gets up for that one and tipped it against their own backboard and away from danger. But is it really away from danger when Visu Gaming keep possession, looking for the passing play setup? And that is a sign of high confidence as they found this equalizer and are now pushing for the winner. And Dutchies Esports still yet to register a shot on goal in arguably regulation time. Drex makes another save on the 11th shot of the game. Extrema tried to turn this one in field as we're approaching the final minute. Now Noxipu with a rare opportunity to take it forwards with Dutchies Esports and Alakanda missed that one. It will be Flusrex in for Tampuri off the ceiling. This one rattles away into the corner where Noxipu follows up for it. But the teammates had to go back for a boost and that will slow the attack down. We have 50 seconds remaining and if Dutchies uh, want to win this game, they have to uh, put a goal. Uh, onto the target, otherwise it will not look fancy for them. Rinchiro passing up field, Alicander not being able to catch that ball. Now Flusrex with a lot of space, dropping it down to Tempuri. Wasn't quite able to get a block right there. Now Alicander with a long clear. But Noxipu was able to get his time and be patient, to stay patient and uh, just wait for that one opportunity which could give them the first uh, win in the series.
Ten seconds to go. This one has chipped up into the air from Extrema. Renshiro! Alakanda! Saved oh, by Noxy Poo! Oh. Out to the wing it goes. Huge chance for Visu Gaming to win it right there, but they're not done. Extrema puts it back in and Tampuri gets it clear. And Dutchies Esports can breathe a sigh of relief as they came so close to losing the game at the very end there. But we have overtime in game two. Will Dutchies Esports take it with another kickoff goal? Tampuri scuffs possession in their back corner and they'll have to move it forwards. They've got two players pressuring them from the halfway line. They get over Renshiro. Renshiro gets it back again and Fluzrex sends it on as the team settle down in OT. Yeah, and after receiving 13 shots, uh, you might uh, ask yourself how many are we still allowed to uh, give the opponents because um, it might very well mean that the next shot will be on target and um, or dodges that would be the crucial way to lose that game because they were really solid on defense, although uh, not very capable of putting something in offense. Well, we have 46 seconds gone in this OT, and Re Visu Gaming haven't had too many chances at goal in this one. Dutchies Esports have just come out of shell a little bit, and I think that's a result of them just needing one goal to win this game. As Noxipu puts it into the center, and that will be a shot on target for them, but it's easily stopped by Alakanda. Tampuri went up for it and got it out to the corner where Alicante will try and send it back in. Blizzrex gets it all the way clear. This one will be headed on target from range. Extrema chips it up into the air. That's very dangerous. Here comes Tampuri and it's stopped by Alicante. This one races all the way back to the halfway line and Alicante chases it down the pitch. Blizzrex has missed it. Extreme is up for this. Off the backboard, cleared out by Flizrex. End-to-end stuff here in overtime. Flizrex pinches it into midfield for Tampuri and Noxipu will take it on from distance. Tampuri to try and centre it. This one will head over the backboard. Flizrex will chase it down on the far side, but Visu Gaiman will get this clear. Yeah, and uh, there was a chance for Dutchies to close out this game with uh, just a few shots, but uh, which shows that efficiency is key in the series. Extreme with the shot right now. And if the efficiency isn't on, as right here, Tampuri not being able to get that save. I was talking about efficiency. Well, if you have 15 shots, then um, one could say that you don't need efficiency anymore. Well, Visu game and have just had all the shots on target in this series, and I think they deserve to be 2 0 up overall, despite the good defensive performance from Dutchies Esports. They've got to get more offense going, and what they're offering right now just isn't enough to beat this Visu team. And now, their only path into the Vortex will be a reverse sweep as Visu Gaming are one game away. And what a reverse sweep it would be. All the way coming from the lower bracket and now being down uh, by two, uh, two games. Um, would be a heartbreak to go out like this and not being able to qualify. On the other hand, we have Visu Gaming looking really confident creating chances and just shooting and shooting at the opponent's nets till something gets going. And if Dutchies are allowing that, then the next game will be pretty similar to the ones before. Well, I said the first goal was pretty important at the beginning of the previous game, and that certainly doesn't change. But once you get the first goal, you got to do something else in the, in the remainder of the game and not, not just sit on that. One goal is not enough of a lead to defend against this Visu gaming team that is very capable of stringing together offensive plays. Well, yeah, usually the, a goal lead gives you some space because uh, the opponents have to attack and with that you have a chance to create some faster plays with a counter-attack, 1-2 to the side, back to the middle and maybe even a long shot after um, over-committing, but um, because they are having none of that, they are just playing their game and it seems like Dutchies have, uh, Dutchies have to adapt a bit too much to be comfortable with their games there. Well, here goes. Forbidden Temple for Game 3. Visu Gaming, one game away from qualifying for the Vortex. Dutchies Esports will try and keep themselves alive with a win here to pull it back to a 2-1 deficit. And there are no quick goals from the kickoff this time. That might be pretty concerning for Dutchies, as that was their main outlet of offense in the previous game. Tampuri now loses out on possession to Alicante, who sends a shot goalwards, and Fluxrex wasn't ready for that one. They looked like they were rotating to the corner boost and it just caught them by surprise, but it is 1-0 to Visu. Yeah, plus Rex expecting a touch from Noxipu and when he wasn't able to get it to the side, he was kind of surprised that the ball just went through and without boost it becomes really difficult to get even that uh, slow of a shot. But um, 
without having that much offensive presence, uh, even that one goal uh, fallback could be difference here. 40 seconds in now, Dutchies in possession, Tampuri tried to get it all the way into the corner but had to go for the drag on the follow up and it was easily cleared. Now Noxipu on the other side, they've got Renshiro up in the air to contend with and that is dropped down to Fluzrex but Visu are taking control of this one, it's going to drop down right in front and no, Renshiro had an open net there but the attacker took it away from them. Really unfortunate there for Visu Gaming and they let off for Dutchies Esports who have got to try and tie this game up, they cannot afford to go down by multiple goals. Flusrex to try and centre it. They look for the bump on the goal line. Noxipu sends it goalwards. Renshiro made the save and now Extrema gets it clear. Yeah, Renshiro onto the middle. Shot from Extrema blocked by Flusrex. Now Extrema taking it high. Getting it past Tampere. Now much space from Renshiro but Extrema. Just slightly bopped the wall. And double tap the tap. Now Extrema with a clean shot against the crossbar down. Tampere with the known goal. Why? I don't know, man. It's all falling apart. Oh, Tampuri was so close to keeping that out, but their first touch just wasn't ideal. And 2 0 now a lead for Visu Gaming over Dutchies Esports. And Visu, they deserve everything that they're getting here in this series. And they have a 2 0 series lead. They might have a 3 0 lead in this game if Dutchies aren't careful. Puri gets it clear, and there is a player taken completely out of the play there for Visu Gaming. Friend Shiro's all the way in the opposition half, but. They're not going to be made to pay for that as Extrema does well to get it out. Noxipu misses on the follow-up touch looking for the redirect, so it'll be Alicante instead. Three minutes to go in this game, and I don't want to speak counter to the neutrals, but Visu Gaming look control of this game free and prepared for life in the Vortex next, this season. Yeah, and it's, they're just punishing every little mistake. They're making sure to keep the offense going. The rotation is looking clean. Boost management and boost control gives them the space to create chances like this. Extremer was able to start this. Now Tempuri almost pinching it with his opponent into the net, but yeah, Visu Gaming looking really vertex uh, competitive right here, while Dutchies are just falling short in the last series and deciding, uh, deciding series. And that is really rough for Dutchies to potentially take after they'd won four matches in a row to get this far in the lower bracket but just haven't produced the performance they need so far as they are forced into making save after save by a Visu Gaming team that has the offensive rotation down. 13 shots to three in this game in favour of Visu. They look for the bump on the defender, they do get a demo on Noxipu on the far side. Extremer is up for this one on the halfway line. No boost to work with, two players up here for Visu but as ever, Alicander is on hand to steady the ship. Well, at least uh, the Dutch's defense uh, or just saves are vertex level. But if you're just uh, having this uh, one sided uh, playstyle, it uh, won't work out against an opponent like Mizukeni, who are showing their many facets of uh, being a good team who is competitive enough to take. Um, yeah, to take down Dutchess right here quite, uh, quite comfortably, but also attacking in the Vortex qualifier. Now Flasrex up, getting a good shot actually on net. We haven't seen that much, and this one's just going in. It sure is, with one minute and eight seconds left, Extrema has the hat trick, just as Dutchies Esports have looked to carve out an opportunity for themselves. Extrema stepped into the play to make the block at the halfway line, and it looks like that's GG for this game and the series as a whole as it's a free goal lead with 108 to go and Dutchies Esports have scored just twice in this series overall so for them to put four in that would be a real tough ask they'll still give it a go of course as we have one minute left they have possession in the offensive third Flusrex tried to put it into the centre but Renshiro made the clear Noxipu put it back in Alicander went up for it Noxipu to put it into the centre for Flusrex and there is a goal for Dutchies with 50 seconds to go that's more than enough time to get two more on the board the pressure might just be on Visu Gaming now. Yeah, I just hope it's not too late for them. Finally, they are able to create a chance. A plus Rex there with a good shot, and it's uh, it's places like these uh, which show that uh, technically they have a chance to uh, play at the level which uh, Visu is providing us here. But it were just a bit too few chances like these. So with 40 seconds to go and two goals uh, behind. It's still really tough for them to come back. 
Mod. I have 30 seconds left to try and make something happen and Tampuri will rush forwards without boost. I'll allow Extreme the opportunity to step in and make the clear. Gets the extra touch as well and I think was hoping for the flip reset but they didn't get it. 20 seconds to go. Noxipu over to Tampuri in midfield and Ranshiro clears to the halfway line. Look to get it further forwards and VC Gaming had the ball where they wanted it at least for the time being. Extrema dunks it down in midfield. Tampuri is up for this one. One defender back and it's Renshiro. Renshiro steps into the play and VC Gaming are almost there but Noxipu. Oh. oh, they missed it. That was the chance for Dutchies Esports but it is not meant to be. Visu Gaming have saved their best performance for last. With a 3-0 sweep, they qualify for the Vortex. And heartbreak occurred for Dutchies who just fall off short so close to the finish line after not being able to take a single game from Visu Gaming who well, we're the better team and uh, deserve this spot in the Vortex Qualifier. And so that is game over. That is game over for this stream and congratulations to Visu Gaming on sealing their spot in the Vortex. They are one of six teams who will be doing that tonight. So far it's Dunno Chief, HG Esports, Imagine Playing Freeze and Cagliari Calcio. There is still Penguin Snorkelers versus TT Vilhaben ongoing for the time being, but you'll find out the result for that very shortly. Congratulations to all the teams who have slogged their way through these close qualifiers. When you play this many matches in one sitting, it can be very tricky. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, from my side as well, congrats to every single team which was able to qualify and uh, heads up for Dutchies came just so far and showed that they had the potential but um, fell short at the end. So now the countdown begins to the start of ECC9 league play and there will be a few days absent for the stream in seeding week now as the directors and moderators try to fit your team into the perfect division next season. But you will want to tune in for the division announcement stream. That is next Friday, the 11th of June at 8 p.m. Central European time. It's always an entertaining affair and the casters on hand will analyze every team and every division and pick out the favorites to do well in the ECC next season. A quick shout out to the two sponsors of the ECC in this season, Valor and Game King. You can check out them with the Valor and Game King commands in the chat. But from us for this evening in the ECC, we have massively enjoyed this Vortex Close Qualifier stream. All six matches were hugely entertaining, but we are going to head over and raid Havoc, who will be playing in the Vortex next season. So, until next Friday, thank you for watching and good night.